Hey everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. And we are here in Austin, Massachusetts. Just kidding, it's Austin, Texas. But we've just been saying Austin, Massachusetts because it's funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> Road trip, it's a deep cut. Anybody? We were in Austin, Texas. We've been here just over three weeks and it's amazing. I absolutely love it here. I don't love the bugs. Nobody told me about that. <sighs> yeah, nobody told me about that. You know, everyone was so focused on like the heat and the humidity. You know, they failed to mention the sort of prehistoric size bugs that live here and want to come into your home. I think that snake was about upwards of six feet long. Not loving that. Not great, Bob. So as you can see, I am in the new studio space in our new home and I'm loving it. This is like my haven of joy. It's where all my hopes and dreams come true and I'm so grateful to have this space. Um, getting back into creating and playing and uh, and just doing all those things, just, just making is, has really helped de-stress me and you know, it does all the things that is why I got into it in the first place and why I stick with it. I did get into starting to curate the fall, winter, Christmas season line. Um, that's, I got so much pressure on myself to do that because I don't know who my client is here yet. Um, I don't know what they like. I don't know what they want. And so I, I'm feeling a lot of pressure to create a perfect seasonal launch and I know that is totally irrational and I'm here to tell you it's how I feel it's very real and if you feel it too let's feel it together um, this is just the pressure that we are putting on ourselves and it's completely unnecessary but we get it right we want it to be a banger we want it to be so good so I just want to be honest that um, if, if some point in time I say hey you know don't do that I know it's difficult because I struggle with it too. And I'm st saying to myself, hey, don't do that. <laughs> so I've got, what do I have here? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 16 testers that I made. So as those are curing, um, I will be working on other things. One of those things that I'm really, really excited and I'm gonna show you today, just to keep it fully update candle related, um, is my new vessels I'm, I'm going to be launching with for the fall winter holiday. Let me get the vessel because I don't have it here with me. I'm very excited, new precious baby. I'm still sticking with the matte black jaw, but we elevated it. Matt, don't, my nails are all broken, ripped to shreds. I did do my first mock it this weekend. I'll tell you more about that in a second. So don't look at my gross fingers, okay? Uh, matte black vessel, but, oh, look at the gorgeous inside. It's so beautiful. Look at that gold, baby. Wow. And it's nice, thick glass. So I sourced these from uh, a manufacturer in China and I did it through Alibaba. And I will share that entire experience with you in an upcoming video, if you're interested. I think, you know, that video for me, I'm gonna share all of like the do's and don'ts, questions to ask, things to look for, how to source, how to select, cause it's, it's a minefield out there. There is so there are so many options and so many suppliers and manufacturers. How do you pick? How do you know? So this jar is just a little bit smaller than what I currently have. This is eight and a half ounce. It's a 10 ounce jar, but it holds eight and a half ounces of wax. So what we've decided to do is offer a Laja jar that'll be 13 or 13 and a half ounces. So I think that's a good mix of like small and large. And I'm going to phase out the candle tins. Another item I'm working on is some custom packaging for these gorgeous jars. They need custom packaging, y'all. I mean, what are you gonna do? Just hand this to somebody, here's your candle. 
I want it to be an experience. I want it to be so special. I want them to open up the box and it's just, you know. <laughs> the other thing I like about this jar is that when it's lit, it glows like an angel, so. I did my first market. It was here in Liberty Hill. They do it once a month. It was like right down the street at the elementary school. It was hot as Ebola's out. The humidity definitely started to to get to me because I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> humidity. Like I was just sweating so bad. Like it was dripping down my face. And I was like, is my body crying? It is, it was it, from sweat dying and the humidity. It was an excellent market. I mean, gosh, the community, I was blown away by the kindness, the generosity, and just like how present they are for you and being there for you. It was amazing and being a new vendor, like new person at the market, I, I was met with so much love. I It was insane. So I ended up booking two more shows while I was there. The the person next to me, her name is Dixie. How freaking cute is that? And she was cute as a button. Oh my gosh. That, uh, how Texan is that? How Texas is that? I loved it. Anyway, she told me about a market that was just down the street um, at this other location. They do those once a month and they were like, hey, we need a candle person. Then I had another woman come up. I mean, she just beelined it straight from my table. Uh, she's doing a private event, needs a candle per or like someone that's doing all the like natural products with candles and all the body stuff. She was really excited to see. She's like, we're looking for someone exactly like you. And I was like, perfect. Most of the private events that I've booked have been at a, another market. They find me to market because they're there sussing it out, right? They're there to see like, who's the person, who's our vibe. Um, if you get a book for a private event, show up with lots of stuff. I've always done excellent at private events because people are there to shop. They are there to spend money, honey. So make those dollar dollar bills. If you don't know why we're here, you can check out my older video where I share that we are coming to Texas. So if you wanna do a little backtrack catch up if you're new here or if you aren't and you just missed that video, it's just a couple minutes if you wanna check it out. But otherwise, I've got some good stuff coming up. I cannot wait, and for those of you that are fans of the first video I did of the Battle of the Fragrance Oils, I've got a good one coming. I have got it coming up, y'all. I cannot wait. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing great, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.